Okay, in this sentence, we're going to start with the second part first because it's a lot clearer what's going on there. If you read the last part of the sentence, it says, despite the fact that the campus he attended was rife or filled with political activity. So we have a contrast or shifter going on there with the word despite. And so when we see that, we know that that which comes before despite, as far as the comma goes, and in this case, it's the second blank. So it's going to be the opposite. And here we can see that, well, this person went to a campus full of activities or filled with political activity, yet he was largely, well, he didn't care much. And what word here doesn't means we don't care much in the second blank? And we see the answer is indifferent. So that's answer choice E. Now, if you go to the first blank, you can see that the first blank, there's another shifter and it starts off, the actual sentence starts off with in stark contrast. So like the word despite, in stark contrast also shows that there's a shift. But now the shift is between the first comma, which says stark contrast to his later blank, and the second word. Now we know the second word is indifference. You don't care. This is answer choice E. You don't care about politics. And this is in stark contrast to his earlier what? Ah, he cared a lot about politics. So which word means you care a lot about something, in terms of, at least in terms of politics? That word is activism. So we're going to do the first blank second, and our answer is A. So again, we went through the part of the sentence that was clearer. We worked backwards for the second blank, we got E. For the first blank, we got A.